I'll introduce you if you haven't met him already. This is Nugget. Look at it. Aw, oh, it's so cute. We call her Nugget because she looks like a chicken nugget with a little bite taken out. She loves being pet there, don't you? And then this. This boy. Oh, this is Maui. Say hi to the people, Mau Mouse. Say hi. Um, this is my boy. This is my little handsome. He's so big. Okay, he doesn't like that. It's fine. It's a little camera shot. Anyway, you know the quote about people that come into your life, they're either a blessing or a lesson. Well, I want to talk about two of those people that have been blessings. One of which, right off the bat, you might not even see them as such. Right? Right, Nugget? Yeah. First, we'll go with the obvious one. Oh, yeah, you're a blessing too, little girl. Mm -hmm. Yes, you are. We rescued this one from the backyard. Yes, we did. First, first one. This, this squirrel. Found out today, it was her last day. We knew she was leaving at the end of the summer. Just didn't know that was gonna be today. In her short amount of time being with us, Probably without knowing it, definitely without knowing it. She's inspired me to do a few things. One of which is uh, getting healthier again, working out. Uh, I don't know if you've seen a week or two ago, I got back into my rollerblades and I skated. A little bit of a distance. Nowhere close to my record. But felt good to get out there and skate around a little bit. Didn't it? Because you were skating with me. Yeah. Uh, so I'm grateful for that. And then it's just a small detail, but she's got a water bottle at work. Well, hand. <laughs> and she had a Por Vida sticker on it and during the time that she was there I mentioned this to my wife too we, her and I talked about uh, visiting Costa Rica and possibly moving down there eventually and then that's what I noticed well, I don't know if uh, you know anything about the Costa Rica, but the Puerto Vida is very popular down there. So, I don't know. Signs are out there. I believe in that kind of stuff. And I believe that there are, are people that get put into our lives for reasons. And when they have shown you all that they were supposed to show you, Sometimes they, they go. Sometimes it's sad, sometimes it's painful. Now, now this person at work, I hope it's not a permanent goodbye. I mean, we're friends on the FB, and it's not like I, we can't get together later and exercise and stuff. But the, going back to the point, get the, the gears turning, so give me a little kickstart. I even, don't be scared, I haven't pulled my, that's gross, sorry, but that just goes to show you how long 
that has been in the garage. It's got spider webs and stuff on it. I should probably clean that before I use it. <laughs> uh, but that's out here now. Because I want to get back in shape. If I don't want to, whatever this is, I look like a rude, rude. <laughs> like a rock. A toad. I like that. I'm gonna change that. So that's that half. Oh man. Just been thinking it's just not gonna be the same without her there. I don't really think I can talk about certain things with anybody else. You know, like working out wise. She runs marathons, triathlons, that kind of stuff. She's been on cruises, she did kayaks, all kinds of fun stuff. Anyway, moving on to the other person. Different kind of blessing. Uh, I'm not really gonna share names or anything, but this person, will say, help my wife get motivated to get a different job. And, although it's sad not to have her at the job that we met, nor is it as convenient to have her working at the same spot, because right now I'm the only driver. One of the perks is that she's making three more dollars than she did, well, technically she's still at the job that we met at, but she's making three more dollars, and apparently there's more to come, and thanks to our friends Brandy and Dan, they uh, told us about that job and how much they loved it, and one of them has been trying for like four years to try to get full time over there. And uh, as luck might have it, my wife tried uh, going in on these interviews. Apparently they haven't done this kind of thing in like five years. So my wife got pretty lucky getting the full time and being in the department that she got into. So, she is super stoked. I pick her up tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. I'm excited about that. And, well, I can't even say that I'm not excited because she's been over there with Bran, <coughs> Bran, oh goodness. Game of Thrones stuff. It's funny that it's the Brandy and Dan and the Bran and then they, it's, okay, tangent time. Brandy used to date my wife's brother. She got him and her into Game of Thrones. That's kind of how we all know each other. I'm happy that my wife's happy. I'm excited to pick her up tomorrow uh, to save us some gas and to save my wife from having to wait in the car. I don't know why she said she was going to wait in the car during my work shift and sleep. That's a silly idea. Brandy, Bran, uh, took in my wife for the weekend because they all work the same shift. So, thank you two for that. Very blessed to have you in our lives. Wife and I can dream again. You have so many plans, and uh, now it looks like we might be, it's like that light at the end of the tunnel was like a, a candle flame. Now it's like a big old bonfire or something. Definitely can see the way out. And we're excited and we're happy about that, and uh, uh, what's that? What's that Tom Hanks movie? 
you know, the one where he's a, a really good ping pong player. Oh yeah, Forrest Gump. There's not much else to say right now, so to quote him. And that's all I have to say about that. Thanks for watching. Bye.